Today, we're gonna to talk about screening rides, ride screening, what it is, how to do it, and should you do it. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you two live examples of how to do uh, ride screening with both Uber and Lyft. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're gonna to talk about a few different aspects of ride screening. Let's jump right in. So number one, what is ride screening? So have you noticed that you don't know where you're gonna be taking your passenger until you pick them up? Well, ride screening is finding a way so that you can see the destination before your passenger gets into your car so that you can decide, is this a ride I wanna take or not? Now, with Uber, it's much more difficult because with Uber, you need to actually get close to your pickup point start the ride, see what the destination is, cancel the ride, give a reason for the cancellation, and then you can keep on driving. With Lyft, much easier, because Lyft gives you the option of where you have to let the passenger know you've arrived. <clears throat> Once you've gotten close, you hit you've arrived, I usually do it about a half a block before, and uh, I can then see the destination, and if I don't like it, I just cancel the ride and, and keep on driving. So that's how you do it and stick around. Like I said, I'll show you a couple live examples. Topic number two is, well, why don't Uber and Lyft just let us know where the destination is? Well, the reason they do it, this is what I think the reason they do it is, they're worried that certain passengers would never get picked up if the drivers knew the destination. Say for example, it's rush hour in the morning and you got a passenger that wants to go into traffic and it's an hour long ride. Right, should take about 10 minutes, but it's gonna take about 45 minutes because of all the traffic. So they're worried that no one's gonna pick up that passenger, there's gonna be a lot of cancellations, that passenger's gonna be unhappy, and then they're gonna to wanna to go to one of the competitors. So that's the reason. But I think it's faulty logic. What happens is if, if the passenger has a ride like that, I may decline it because it's not right for me, but the next driver may wanna to go to that area, right? and accept it. So you're gonna get a better match of drivers and passengers than the current system. Topic number three, the ethics of ride screening. So in the past, I've shared a few videos showing people how to screen rides. And overall, it's been positive response, but I got a vocal minority that said, wait a minute, that's just not right. You should be accepting every ride that you get as a driver. It's not right to strand uh, passengers. And I felt this way for the first year. Um, I didn't cancel on anybody. Uh, I prided myself on the fact that I took everybody where they wanted to go. Until a Sunday where I needed 12 rides for a bonus and I got like 10 long rides in a row and by the end of the day I did not get my bonus and that cost me money. And that's where I said this has got to stop because I need to take care of myself. I need to make money um, I use my money to support my family and, and, and live a lifestyle. And if I don't pick up that passenger, right? If I screen the ride and I don't pick up that passenger, the next driver probably will. So the passenger's really not stranded. They're just gonna have to wait a minute, two minutes more and, and, and wait for another, another pickup. So that's how I think about it now. Uh, but there are definitely people that feel like this is not the right thing to be doing. Number four, Uber and Lyft are beginning to see the light. So recently Uber came out with Uber Pro, which were a bunch of enhancements for drivers, and Lyft came out with their 15 new features. And in both of those, both companies are offering top, uh, top drivers the ability on the ping to see the direction and the time that the ride's gonna take. So as you can see in this example with Lyft, I can see that this is gonna be a 47 minute ride and it's going in a southern direction. If that's what I want, great. If it's not, I would cancel, not accept, and then, the and then it would go to the next driver, the next closest driver, and they would probably accept. It's a nice long ride. Might be going in a direction I don't wanna go, but for the next driver, it's going in the direction they do wanna go. So again, it's a better match between the drivers and the passengers. Great job, Uber and Lyft. I can't wait for those features to show up here. Uh, in San Francisco. Number five, here are some live examples that I just shot today to show you 
how to screen rides with Lyft, and then how to screen rides with Uber. All right, so I got a ping, and I'm getting close to my prospect. And if I were screening this ride at about here, I would say that I have arrived. So I click on exit to get out of the GPS mode, tap to arrive, confirm arrival. So now I can press right here and see he's going to Jones Street. If I'm not sure of the address, I can just squeeze down and see, well, that's a pretty long ride. Okay, so that's one I don't want. So then you click in the upper right-hand corner and you would click on cancel ride, cancel ride. It'll ask you why, I just say other reason. And boom, we're done. Make a right turn, then make a right turn. Okay, so I'm getting close. This is uh, this is now with uh, with Uber, and I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Start Uber X. Head to your drop of a toast deli. Okay, and then what I need to do now is uh, cancel the ride. Complete Uber X. And. Oops. Head to your drop of a toast deli. In a quarter mile, make a left turn on King Drive. And then cancel this trip. And then you're going to have to put uh, a reason. And I would put other. Yes, cancel. And there you go. Now, there's a lot of concern that if you cancel on a, on a passenger, that they're going to be able to rate you and give you a bad rating. And what you're going to see at the end of this uh, video is that, uh, in fact, it just goes, uh, it defaults to finding another driver for that passenger. So I asked a friend of mine if I could look at their phone while they requested a ride. And as I'm approaching here, I'm looking, I'm seeing, I don't want the ride, and I'm going to cancel. And what you're going to see is it just goes to finding another ride. No problem. So thanks for watching the video. I, uh, I hope you got some value out of it. Um, you learned everything there is to know about ride screening. If uh, ethically you feel it's not the right thing to do, then don't do it. And if you feel it's cool, then go for it. And uh, I have found for me, it's made me a better driver. And it's also given me a lot more serenity because I know I can stay on track to reach my goals. And I have a little bit more control um, over my day. Everybody, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to this YouTube channel, by all means do. If you're a driver, we put out two to three pieces a week of great content. You'll learn a lot about being a driver and about the industry. This is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy, wishing you a great day. Uh, be safe out there.